Welcome back, pigs. It's the Out for Smokes podcast, and today we have a very special uh, guest, good friend of uh, me and Scott, first ever repeat guest. It's Mr. Dan St. Germain. Thank you. It was the first time I heard your guys' intro. It was great. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good. We're like 200 episodes in, and you know. I think You're way less than it. that, I think. Uh, with Patreon, we're 200. Oh, shit. Yeah, we, okay. do, two, we do two a week. We nice. crank out two. We work once a week. We come in. We do our regular one, and then we do our dog shit Patreon <laughs> that people can subscribe to for five dollars a month. You get our dog shit Patreon episodes. Go over to uh, patreon.com slash out for smokes for your dog shit Patreon uh, um, <laughs> content, your bonus content. Anyway, Dan uh, Dan says your man is here. Dan just put out a special uh, a couple weeks before mine on on YouTube. It's called uh, Dance Fatty Dance. We all watched it. it we loved hard. it. I was there. Yeah. yeah I yeah, Scott was uh, open. He killed yeah. it. You're yeah. special, fantastic. Everybody knows. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a competition. No, I know. But you I know said that. that right? I said that. I, yeah. mean, I watched it the day it came out. Yeah, it was so, really great. I know you texted me and you were like, "Damn man, I will put you even above me." <laughs> <laughs> I did. Well, yeah, yeah. No, I said uh, you and Soders for the best this year for sure. Thanks. Um, but you know, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Because it's like everybody, everybody's on YouTube now. Everybody's doing specials, and everybody has a hundred thousand, uh, you know, sixty to a hundred thousand views. So it doesn't, <laughs> you it doesn't just, you had to recorrect it to mine. No, no, no. <laughs> to like <laughs> to whatever yours is. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, like I was kind of feeling bad about my view count, but then I like, I mean, I'm not going to mention who, but I saw somebody else we know's view count. Yeah, like, Ooh, yikes! All right, this is it was fine. High. It was, no, because oh, it was low, real low. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, like jump off a bridge low. Yeah, right. You right. Know? What was it like? <laughs> well, 13, but the thirteen, fourteen k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one of those. Yeah. I mean, you never know. You yes. never know how it's gonna, how the shit's gonna be received. Yeah. Yeah. But let me. I, I want you guys to watch this special because it's it's very funny. You know, a special is good when you're like. I mean, here's the thing. I think anybody can like write a little setup punchline joke. Everybody kind of understands joke structure and can make something that's like you know, hey, here's the I I did this. I have a dog, and then I went to there and blah blah blah, and, and here and here's the laugh. But uh, I thought Dan's was like funny in a way where you're 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 laughing like the whole time. It's making you laugh the whole time. Yeah. You're laughing at the setups. You know, this is one of my favorite moments from the special. I just want to play it for you guys, for you guys right here. I was the street the other day, and uh, and there's this guy that was right next to me, and uh, just walking past him on like Sixth Avenue, and he looks and he just goes, "Men's spa? What the fuck is that shit?" <laughs> I was like, bro, if men's spa offends you. New York City is not the city for you. <laughs> Across the street, there's a twink and a baby Bjorn. And four blocks up, you can get the cast of Stomp to perform your abortion. So... This <laughs> is so bizarre. <laughs> anyway, no, I just enjoyed that a Thank lot. Thank you. you know? um, that would be so funny if you just played like, yo, in my mind... Get married to man is like getting married to a dog. <laughs> you just like post some, somebody else, some just a horrible like <laughs> homophobic pastor or something yeah. like that. The, the meat yeah. mill ditty audio. <laughs> People yeah. have sent me that like it's real. It's just yeah, keeps yeah. clapping. Yeah, but you've been in New York for a long time, right? Uh, since 2018. Oh, okay. I was in LA for four. Yeah, years. but then when did you move here originally? Uh, right after college. I was yeah. like 2006. Yeah. Okay, because when I first started coming around, when I first started doing... You started like a year after me, right? Probably, yeah. But you were kind of like one of the big... You were kind of like one of the big guys. Yeah. You were like one of the big guys that was on the big shows right away in like 2008. I mean, like, I guess, yeah, a couple years in. Yeah. I don't like this magnanimous microscene because What's you have more you have more view counts on your special <laughs> and you're trying to act magnanimous. <laughs> and I don't like this. Who gives... But who I cares? don't know what magnanimous is. Like above it, uh, like you're oh, yeah. acting like you're generous, a generous ruler. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. The generous king, Microsoft. Who cares about view counts? Though? 
No, I don't. I don't care. I don't know what it means. You know, it yeah. just means more people got to view. It means yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, more people watch the special. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's this exactly is, what it well, means. Listeners, you know? we're gonna have a link to Dan's special in the description, so you can go and you can watch it and you can see if Mike's behavior changes. If we can get Dan more views than Mike, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right? Somehow my view count goes down. <laughs> Being honest, I did. Well, I I tried to pay for like YouTube to like uh you know like do like a fucking promotion or something. Yeah. And then, like, I woke up the next day and I like had lost like 200 views. Oh, really? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, well, those were bots. Bots. <laughs> and then they and then they didn't approve the promotion. <laughs> okay. So I literally just paid them to like yeah. take 200 fucking views off. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what most of my views are. They're Israel bots. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I've been very outspoken about Israel Palestine because I'm to get the bots, Israel, uh, yeah, because I'm I'm hiring, I'm paying Israel bots to. Yeah, that always helps your view. career to make a um, huge stance on Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's just all Hasbara Israel people trying to see if you said anything racial, so they can clip it and send it to a club to get your gig canceled. Mm -hmm. I saw that somebody tried somebody tried to cancel your. Uh... Yeah, but, yeah, but who cares? You know, it's it's, it's a fun club. It is a fun club. Yeah, and shout out to AJ and Dave who did. I was not. supposed to do that last weekend. Oh, yeah, you got I, sick. I got sick. Yeah, yeah. The fun club. What happened? You ate too many cookies. I ate too much pussy, baby. <laughs> you got it. I know. I did get like a throat infection. <laughs> really? You got temporary throat cancer. I got Michael Douglas throat <laughs> cancer. Uh, I got <laughs> pussy throat cancer. Yeah, and it got treated. It got treated very. Uh, quickly and now you're here now i'm here but i want to ask you about that bit because it, because do you feel like new york city it, it, it used to be uh a lot more weird it used to be like uh like i don't know it used to it, I don't know. It, no i don't know i mean like i think like the now like you know because in income inequality is in, in, increased so mm -hmm. like there's more violence now yeah but as far as like what's weirder i'm not sure yeah like, more girls are getting hit in the street. Girls are getting hit in the street, yeah. Yeah, so that's, like, different. There's yeah. more heroin. Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. Have you seen any of that happen? When I was living in the East Village, I was, like, stepping over, like, people shooting up and shit. Sure. In front of my apartment. Shit. Yeah. 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 Um, then I, like, like all of a sudden, you're like, am I going to become a guardian angel now? <laughs> One of those Curtis <laughs> Solo guys? Yeah, yeah. With, um, But, yeah, no, I mean, and now I live in Sunnyside. It's, like, nice. Uh-huh. Yes, you know. Yeah. Did the heroin get to your area yet? Not yet. Yeah, no. And not yeah. you either, right? Well, it's mostly fentanyl now. Mostly like, fentanyl, that's what I should <clears> say. <throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was heroin, and then we pulled out of Afghanistan, and for some reason the supply <laughs> dried up. Yeah. So now it's all fentanyl. Yeah, that's why we got to go back to Afghanistan. That's why they should have marketed that. Mm. <laughs> you know, when I was in rehab, there's these kids on the fentanyl. is like insane now. Like, these kids are like... They're on like medical grade fentanyl, like twenty, like, and they're just doing fentanyl, doing end of life drugs, just casually, yeah. Yeah, interesting. What did that feel like? I mean, what does that feel like? Awesome, apparently, but uh -huh. also like it'll it feels like you. morphine. Like what is like? I mean, end of life drug, like yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Damn. But you gotta just do like a little bit. I mean, I just don't know how you would, you know. I mean, we would be dead, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With these kids that are like, and they're like, I, I met like these kids that are like 19 or 20 that are like, you know, fucking. Yeah. It's just like skaters. Like, we couldn't do it. Like, we're, we're, they won't yeah, be like rappers, we're not going like, to be able to do all these, rappers. but they can. Yeah. Yeah. It just takes a different type of dude. How do you feel about the crime? Dude. How do you feel about the crime on the subway? Because I showed up to do a podcast yesterday and the producer goes, oh, the crime on the subway is like out of control. And I don't know. I, I feel like I don't see it. I haven't of seen it. it. Yeah. I haven't but seen I've also it. been using my car more. Sure. But I haven't personally seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Because I guess it's like, I it, it wasn't something I ever worried about. But also, as you get older, you're like, oh, you, f you feel a little more vulnerable. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, when we're old, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I mean... I mean, I'm I'm starting. Like, I think in the next ten years, that'll be like the time where, like, when I'm like fifty, I'll be like a real easy target. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of those guys that gets punched in the back of the head. Yeah, like yeah, you just tip right yeah. over. Like the two black eyes, you know, like one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people are gonna follow you into your elevator. Uh, one of those guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. going like that. Yeah. It is kind of weird because it was never something I worried about, but then it's like, I don't know, as you get, it's harder for me to like get up, walk up and down my stairs now. 
Yeah, especially because you like you've been doing backbreaking work. I've been so doing backbreaking like, work. I get the stroller. My knees hurt. So I'm like, if I got attacked by a bunch of uh, hoodlums, right? You know, so I might not no, survive. What's going to happen is a bunch of teenagers are going to jump Dan in December and try to rob him because they think he's Santa and he has presents. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, and they never got any. Dude, if Dan got jumped, he would turn Joker real quick. <laughs> <laughs> she would turn Joker real Burn quick. St. Germain. <laughs> I mean, you'd maybe call us two days later and be like, should I delete the Joker post? <laughs> brother, dude, that night you'd be like, New York City. <laughs> New York, God. <laughs> Nuts. I immediately have a, a show on Kumia. <laughs> did you guys see the Joker 2 trailer? I did, yeah. I did. What'd you no. think about it? Whatever. I mean, I, I thought actually the Joker was, was decent. It's like, it, it is weird. Just there's like not that many good stand-up comedy movies. And that's like one of yeah. the better ones. The, one of the most the only, realistic ones. There's, a, there's <laughs> yeah. only like two stand-up comedy movies that have ever been made, right? There's there's funny people and there's Punchline. And I remember watching Punchline I like 10 King years of Comedy. King of too. Comedy. King of Comedy, yeah. yeah which yeah, I have to, actually, Johnny just watched that. Yeah. It's a great yeah, movie. Good, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the best stand-up movie ever made. I haven't seen it since high school, but I do remember in the movie Punchline. I think it's probably the best, yeah. Right. Because in the movie Punchline with Sally Field, like, uh, there's a scene where, like, the comics are showering together after the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have, they have <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the comedy club has, like, a locker room, and they're all, yeah. Well, I always like that movie because Tom Hanks, they have, like, an audition. Right. Um, it's basically, like, a Just for Laughs audition. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's um, the people, the judges watching them, and Tom Hanks goes on stage, and he's just like, what is this anyway? And he, like, insults the judges, and he's like, this isn't uh -huh. what comedy is about. Uh -huh. And I saw... Uh, Bryson Turner do that once. Oh, yeah. He's a very funny guy, but I did see him audition for Just for Laughs, and he's like, what is this exactly? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just word for word from Punchline. Yeah, it was just a Tom Hanks yeah, yeah. monologue. There's a scene in that movie where uh, Tom Hanks goes, and, and he's like, you're not going to... You're not gonna do your jokes tonight, and he like takes her notebook and throws it in a sewer. She's like, "No, my jokes!" <laughs> Lying, they're like yeah. she forgot her jokes, and then she has to go up and just kind of talk to the audience. Yeah, she has to improvise. She's like, "I want my yeah. kids dead." They're like, "Yeah, yeah." That's a true story. Punchline. Yeah, it's a true story about like oh. a mom who lived in Jersey or some shit, Long Island. Yeah. Is it Joan Rivers? And then she started doing open mics. Okay. And then she blew up. No, I don't think it's Jim Rivers. Oh, okay. It's just some lady in the just 80s lady. who like got to <laughs> fuck dice or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's like um well there's always every year we see like the one uh you know, horrible mother who tries to stand up for the first time and brings her like <laughs> fucking six year old kid with her to the open mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean it's just yeah, it's 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 really terrible. Yeah. But the Joker Two trailer for anybody who didn't see it. It seems to mostly take place in a mental home. Mm. This is definitely where he meets Lady Gaga, who is Harley Quinn. Okay. And it's a musical. Yeah. And she seems to be explaining to him in the trailer how music is um, like a way to... I don't yeah. know. I relate to the Joker less now that he's getting pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually kind of ruined the, what the, hell ruined is the original this? movie for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a great point. There's going to be some people irritated. Does the Batman yeah. come into this one, or is there no Batman in this one either? Like Batman. In this world, it's just like we're all Joker's are real, but yeah, Batman's this is a more realistic world, right? Because how do they how do they make that jump from like just the guy who is mentally ill and to the Joker to like a superhero villain? I I guess they're just not going to yet. Yeah, it's a musical this time. Yeah. Well, what Keen Phoenix's life is crazy. Like his. Like Joaquin is like the name that he took is is less crazy than his real name, which was Leaf. Okay, because he was in Children of God, which was like that cult where all the uh, the parents fucked the kids. Oh, oh okay, yeah. yeah. So he like he's real. How you got to make it in Hollywood? Yeah, their own kids. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was like a whole thing. It was uh, like you can watch it. Um, there's like an HBO documentary about one of the guys who ended up killing his mom and his aunt who okay. ended up fucked him. Okay. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel like whenever you hear, when you ever like you read the yeah. news about someone killing their mom, yeah. it makes me go like, oh, what what was going on there? What was yeah. she doing? What exactly, That's what they say know? about the Menendez brothers. Is yeah. Their parents were pimping them out to the elites, so right. they killed them. But right. but like yeah, uh, Joaquin's Phoenix brothers, uh, River Phoenix, he died of a drug overdose, right? Yeah. And 
then like that does kind of put into context a lot of these people a lot of people who have been abused do start using drugs very heavily to cope with it that had to be the greatest week for the menendez brothers like right after they kill their parents before they went to jail yeah they were at the next game <laughs> they were at the next game yeah yeah one of them kind of looks like Sam Morrell, so it's like see uh-huh. Sam at the Knicks games. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's like Sam and Mark. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We get it. <laughs> we like the Knicks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think. Uh, I mean, I I don't think that they pimped out the elites, but I do think there's a good chance that Dad was doing some shit. Hmm. Mm. But I, I don't know. But it was also that was, that's like one of those true crime things where like the TikTok became huge, right? Where like yeah, the mm. TikTok like of like whether or not these. You know they're pedophile, but everybody also like wants there to be just like everyone like everyone wants there to be pedophiles everywhere. Yeah, right. Yeah. Too. Yeah, and there's probably not as many as we think. <laughs> Do you think there are more? <laughs> I was about to ask something. It's like a cancelable question. God. Are there more pedophiles or trans people? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope it's tra- I hope it's over. trans people. <laughs> I hope so yeah, I too. Hope trans yeah. Trick question. They're the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vote Trump. <laughs> it's, it seems like it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for how starting our pivot. You're saying what needed to be said. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know who I hope it's I hope it's trans people. But it, it kind of seems like trans people is like that's a very specific identity. Like you're you're either you're definitely trans, and then pedophile. It feels like the line could be blurred a little bit. Well, yeah, it depends on what do you consider a pedophile. Yeah, you know, like if you're like a thirty year old who hooks up with a sixteen year old, that's not the same thing as like sure. a two like a guy who like rapes a two year old. Yeah, you know, right. And oh. check out Dance Fatty Dance free on YouTube, guys. <laughs> We were uh, we did our live show this week at uh, St. Mark's Comedy Club, and it's owned by uh, these two uh, Alex and Danny Carbonio. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, all of those guys. And so, like, Alex, Alex goes up. He goes up like third on the show. We had we didn't like prom- we forgot to promote it, so there were <laughs> it was like <laughs> it was like Aubrey and her boyfriend and like two other people. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, but Alex went up and like just started he usually does like a lot of like a very he- sound effect heavy act yeah like he'll be like you know i'm trying to sleep in new york in new york and then i just hear <laughs> he's, he's always like doing you know uh, doing impressions of homeless people like stuff like that but he just like went up and started talking about how like he he first he goes i'm dating my stepsister so he's like uh he started talking about that and then he starts, he starts talking about how like He's like, yeah, so I uh, I got molested when I was 12, but, you know, I, uh... <laughs> so I got molested when I was 12, but, you know, I I, I, I kind of liked it, to be honest. I mean, he, he's like this older family friend. Yeah, it was like was like molesting him when he was 12. Did you do the sound effects for the molestation? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah. And then he was like... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so, so it's just it's just really funny because I've never seen him be like personal like that. No, you know? but he after he was talking to us, he's like, I know your audience likes darker. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> there's like four people yeah, there's here. Four people here <laughs> you could have just done whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just tell us you were molested, man. Uh, it was so funny though. The stepsister yeah. shit is like my favorite shit I've heard in a while. Yeah, and he's like, so he's funny. like, yeah, you know, this lady, she was like, she was like, you got pubes, and I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> he goes, what does he say? He's like, he didn't know what like, pubes were. He didn't know what pubes were. <laughs> so and he's she's like, like, I'll go check his like, car. He's like, I, he's like, I can go get them if you want. Yeah. I go check my car. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, man, <laughs> it was scarring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was really funny. I got a new really story. Like Alex, that was great. Yeah. Related to that, this is a 23 year old woman, Alyssa Ann Zinger. She's been hit with sex charges in Florida because she was posing as a teenager. I saw that. To have sex with 12 to 15 year old boys. I saw okay. that. So she's 23. She was arrested last November, allegedly engaging in at least 30 sexual acts with a middle school student. She would go online, pretend to be a homeschooled 14 year old girl. Uh, She'd been arrested for the second time as four new victims have come forward. She had a relationship with one of the boys from May 2023 to September 2023. Believed she was 14 the whole time. Lives in Tampa, Florida. Of course. Uh, And this is Colin Rugg on X slash Twitter. It's like uh, if that movie Orphan was directed by Brazzers. (laughs) That's pretty crazy. 
Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, uh, I go, if that was my kid, I'd be very mad. Yeah. Like DiCaprio, you know DiCaprio, what, he only dates 19-year-olds? Yeah, they're well, in the 20s. He sees, he, they they, the, 20s? the joke is that like when they turn 26, he's like done. Uh, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't fly with me. But, you like an older woman. No, but also, like, we know what a younger woman is, and it's, like, basically a kid. Like, we understand emotional, like, people's emotional... Scott needs at least a 39-year-old. Uh, yeah. No, but, like, you've talked to young women. Like, you understand that they're fucking just as dumb as young men. They, they, they shouldn't be, like, interacted with sexually. I sure. couldn't date... Yeah, I mean, I don't think I could date somebody in their, their early 20s now. No, you're I mean, too old. They wouldn't want to date be, me anyway, but uh, like, yeah. Yeah, but you would be like actively admitting you don't want to be with someone who's as emotionally developed as you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think like guy, there's some guys that like want to like teach the girl, like the Pygmalion thing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, but, pig, it's in the name, Pygmalion. Pig, yeah. pig male. Uh, pig male. But when we started, that would happen a lot. It would just be like... The you know the older comic dating the oh yeah that's the cute that's younger these, female yeah, comic that's a, all these ugly faced you know yeah, yeah. of course it's terrible huh. <laughs> but you dated you married of age my wife's older yeah 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 I know it feels good yeah <clears throat> yeah we're like heroes in a way <laughs> yeah I'll, be, I'll bring that to my wife all the time i be like you know you're older than me and <laughs> you're welcome yeah. Mike, how would you feel if Ben turned 14 and started dating a 23-year-old who was pretending to be 14 and you found out? Would you tell him? Yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I mean, we're all, like, horny when we're when we're 14. When did you lose your virginity? What age? 19. To a girl with a glass eye. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. How'd she get it? I don't know. Alon <laughs> James White? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You didn't ask her how she got the glass eye? I didn't, no. Hmm. I felt like it was rude. Yeah. The yeah. guy before aimed improperly. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think because I found it out, like, after the fact. Oh. After we had sex, my friends were like, she has a glass eye. <laughs> yeah. I met her on Match.com because I was like, because <laughs> I was like not losing so, my... <laughs> was this woman like 54 years no, old? She was, she, was, <laughs> she was my age, but I was like, I, I, I didn't, I don't know why I hadn't lost my virginity. And so I like got on Match.com. 19's not like, too me, late, though. Yeah. All my friends had, like, you know, done it already. I think they were lying, though. Yeah, I think they a lot were of our lying. friends were lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. There is always the one kid, though, who fucked, like, at 12, and it's like, you kind of feel sorry for him. <laughs> you know, like, we <laughs> thought it was cool then, but now yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah. ooh, there yeah. we go. There was a kid when I was a sophomore in high school, he was in my Italian class, and he was talking about how he was, like, having sex with his girlfriend regularly, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> I just remember thinking, like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, so my, my dog got into the garbage and found my condom, and then my mom found out. <laughs> like, <laughs> She's like, why does the dog have cum in its mouth? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, what is the natural? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's bizarre. Um... Yeah, dude, I remember if, like, I was 18. Well, how old were you when you watched Virginia? 14? 14? You were Seriously? 14? Scott yeah. got out of Damn. Um, the end of freshman year of high school? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So what happened to the 23-year-old? <laughs> 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 no, she was my age, you know, and that's legal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's totally legal. Yeah. Doesn't it seem like everything is kind of a ploy to get rid of TikTok, though? Oh, yeah. Because it's like this girl was on TikTok, you know, dancing, seducing oh, young men. To pretend she was pretending to be homeschooled on TikTok. She was on, on TikTok. It, it seems like all of mainstream media wants to get rid of TikTok. How do you pretend to be homeschooled? You just be like really annoying and retarded in a conversation. <laughs> yeah. You just not pick <laughs> yeah. up on social cues. Yeah. You're just like, you know, Jesus is coming back soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is her TikTok still up or do they take it down? I don't know. I'd love mm. to see like her as a. Got to be taken down. Yeah. 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 No, but I used to love in high school. It, <laughs> Mike will be you're... like, uh, yeah, so you'll be out in twelve years, so my son will turn fourteen then. <laughs> 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 yeah, if like a if if a sophomore was dating a freshman, I would like call the sophomore a pedophile. I mean, I was, <laughs> that's like part of the fun of being young. Yeah, you yeah, can get away being fifteen and and calling a. A 15-year-old dating a 14-year-old a pervert. Uh -huh. You know, I had a friend whose parents bought, like, took him to a prostitute at, like, like 17. Why? 16. Yeah. 
They're like, why haven't you fucked I yet? I mean, if you met the kid, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. how like, his pa- he's going to so lose. His parents, so not his dad, like both his parents. Both his mom and his dad like, yeah. agreed, like, this is this is how our son's going to lose their virginity. Yeah. You know, it was very awkward. The kid was very, very awkward. But, uh-huh. um, also, it still f- feels not right. Yeah. Yeah, to a prostitute? Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Some kids just never had a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he's doing all right now. Still follows me on Instagram. Nice. Yeah, I think if my kids like legs didn't work, I would figure it out at some point. At yeah, at some, some point. point. Yeah. But like maybe thirties, right? Or is that too late? I think I think maybe there's a happy medium early twenties around. Yeah. Probably like twenty four. Twenty four is the age that you do that. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah. They're like, what's what's going on? It's thir- you're thirteen. You haven't fucked yet. <laughs> 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 Four more years, we're going to drive you to Tijuana <laughs> and have you have sex with a prostitute. That's so fucking dumb. Mm. Yeah. Um, we got some news articles if we want to talk about sure. those. Sure. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. going on in Arizona? There's Arizona. Uh, the Arizona Supreme Court upheld uh, an abortion ban from 1864. And so it'll, they delayed it for, what is it, a few weeks or something, but it's going to go into effect. But most likely, how do you even pussy had to have been different then? You right? Yeah. Like eighteen sixty four, yeah, yeah. pussy is. It was different. like sandpaper. Yeah, we need like to get scientists on board to go. Like we're even talking different. You can't have the same law on different pussy. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah. 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 I go totally different types of pussy, and you're no, not okay. Well, I was listening to like. I guess breaking points today, they were like covering it and they were talking about like how like Arizona was like hardly a state then. Yeah. Yeah. There right. Because like who was living people. in Arizona in like the 18th? Yeah. There's like the four settlers decided yeah. what this yeah, law was. Like was. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, uh, on Twitter X, Dave Ryder. It was like two swinger couples. <laughs> yeah. With like very tan skin. <laughs> when everyone was fighting the Civil War, they were like, what if we fucked each other's wives? <laughs> Just they're putting loofahs <laughs> on the front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dave Ryder on Twitter slash X, he talks about William, or they talk about William Jones authored the 1864 Arizona abortion ban. Mm. Uh, fun facts about William Jones. He abandoned his first wife and their children in Missouri. His second wife was a 12-year-old Mexican girl. He abducted her after a complaint, submitted his resignation to President Buchanan before he was fired. In 1864, at age 49, he married his third wife, a 15-year-old girl. He abandoned in 1865 when he moved to Hawaii. Uh, yeah. So this guy's like a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bachelor of his time. He was known This as- guy would have loved TikTok. <laughs> this guy would have loved TikTok. <laughs> he was known as a, quote, pursuer of nubile females. What's and nubile? Yeah. Is this just new? Yeah, like breeding age, like I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Like Fresh. Breeding age. Jeez. Yeah. I feel bad for these girls. You know? Well, you know, the law is the law. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going to be, they're going to get it on a ballot. They're most likely going to get enough signatures to get legal abortion on a ballot initiative in Arizona, which will probably pass. Uh-huh. But it's, you know, the Supreme Court said this law will go into effect. They're giving it a short delay, but like probably between now and November for at least a period of time, abortion will be illegal in Arizona. Mm hmm. Now, why aren't they like? Why are these women like rioting? That's what I would be doing. It just happened. I mean, I'm sure yeah. that it's like it, it is a gift to. Um, I mean, uh, they're saying it's a gift to, you know, Democrats and Biden for sure. Yeah, because yeah. like no one really wanted to, you know, turnout was going to be very low. Well, I saw there was a statement from uh, Carrie Lake because I guess she's running for Senate. Yeah, and she was like, "I just just to be clear, I will never support federal funding for abortion, but I will fight for it." Because she was like, she seems to like have a problem with the yeah. ban. And she was like, but I will fight for um, strengthening the economy so that families can prosper. Yeah, they're trying to get out of it. Yeah. That's the thing with Trump, too, where he was like, uh, he doesn't really know what to say because he's he's clearly very pro abortion. Yeah, sure. He's He's probably paid for so many. He's probably paid for so fucking many. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's Trump is saying uh, he supports leaving it up to the states because it's, I mean, it is a toxic issue because, like, obviously women hate it. As well, they should. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's 
I don't know. It's, it, you're right. It is a gift to the Democrats where nobody cares about uh, supporting Biden except for now they have this thing where they can get turnout. And it's not even like anything. It, it's it's not even getting people new rights. It's getting back the rights that they lost. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's uh, it, it just these culture war issues kind of uh, make up for bad economic, bad foreign policy, whatever. You think we'd get better at at home abortions, though, right? The pill, yeah, y- yeah. Like you think we'd figure it out? Well, I guess the pill. Like, I mean, that's better. it is. It is better. Yeah, it's it's good though. Abortion it's technology really... is advanced. Yes, okay. well, you but if pill, you leave it up to you the can states, get the pill like that, like you know, forty yeah. years ago. Yeah. If you leave it up to the states in California, they'll they'll do a nine month uh, abortion allowed, and then you can do a, uh, a true crime podcast about it, about your own. <laughs> about your own abortion. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff out there, guys. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, what a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar P- Pistorius is okay. out of jail. Yeah, that's okay. the guy who had no legs, right? No legs, killed his girlfriend. He was yeah. a runner yeah. or a skater? He's out of jail? Yeah. He's a, there's a New York Post article by Steve Helling. Is that one of those things because of like, like he's out because there's only so many years you can serve and that... Yes, yeah, South, Africa, South right? Africica, yeah. Yeah. He got a pretty short sentence. It was like And he murdered his girlfriend, right? Yeah, he claimed she was a he thought she was a home invader. Uh he was sentenced. Shot her? Yeah, he was sentenced to tour. Yeah, he was sentenced It's so funny when like uh when you use the oh I thought it was a black guy in Africa. <laughs> 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 you think it like wouldn't they wouldn't use it there, but they still find a way to use it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's in court like, I had no choice. I couldn't <laughs> run. <laughs> like a, an Olympian at that. <laughs> um, yeah, he was sentenced to 13 years because, like, he was the first double amputee to compete in the Olympics in 2012 in London. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, so there's been more since him. I don't know. Okay. Uh, but he uh, went to trial in 2014 for murdering his girlfriend, claimed uh, he thought she was a burglar, he was sentenced to 13 years, five months. He served about more than half that sentence, and then he was released in January of this year. And according to the New York Post, since that his release, he's been hidden away in a fortified compound uh, belonging to his uncle in Pretoria, South Africa. And he says, uh, or the New York Post headline is that he's, quote, too toxic to get a job sweeping church floors after release from prison for killing his girlfriend. And it also says that he's reached out to his some of his friends in the Paralympic community and they don't want to associate with him for whatever reason. Yeah, that would have just happened anyway. I think when you're a guy with no legs, eventually... People you, turn their backs on you. Oh, yeah, eventually people, you stop <laughs> doing shit. Like, have you seen anybody with no legs? Eventually yeah. you, you just die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, like, gonna, scratch gonna, my... Hey, we need your help. No, these we are, could use everybody else besides these, you. They're thrilled that they have a reason to turn him down for the job that's not no legs. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, it's because you killed your wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fastest guy in the world... Is there so no use for him outside yeah. of the Olympics? Yeah, yeah. So you don't need him. They're like, ah, you kind of scratched my floors last time you came <laughs> over. <here." laughs> Hard to believe it, but the guy with hooks for legs <laughs> isn't great at swiffering. I had to have the floors redone when he walked through here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how old is he now? You think he's like uh, seven? Yeah, or I, was he thirty-seven when he competed? Yeah, no, he is thirty-seven now. Mm. Um, and uh, according to the New York Post, uh, he doesn't have an ankle monitor, or he doesn't have a, an electronic monitor. Okay. But they do have a parole officer who gives him random checks, subject to drug and alcohol testing. And interestingly enough, he cannot post on social media and he cannot write a memoir about his but he's experience. He's got hands. It's he. It's not feet. He's got hands. He's got <laughs> Wait, he can't get fucked up. <laughs> uh, I guess he's probably under parole at this point. Right. So, you know, at some point he can do drugs again. Yeah. I just like climb trees if I was him. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're just like. Thinking about all the shit Lieutenant Dan did right now. <laughs> if you go, if you have no legs, what do you do? You just you start climbing around. I guess, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're in comedy, 
from my experience, you come out to the night at the Roxbury theme song, and you start bumping your head. <laughs> I lost to that guy at a comedy competition <laughs> once. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah it was like a paralyzed guy. <laughs> <laughs> he came out, and okay. he was like, da, 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 and he had Jonto, jump, and he just started doing the Will Ferrell, Chris Kattan thing. Oh, man. Head. It is so hard to win a comedy competition against a, a handicapper. It's fucking person. impossible. It's or impossible. like a rapping granny. Like yeah, I lost yeah. to a girl once, yeah. Yeah, yeah, talk yeah. to a regular woman. That's the girl doing date stuff. Yeah, <laughs> similar kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always funny, like, because uh, you know the rooms that I headline are, you know, very shitty sure, rooms. Yeah, so it's yeah, like same. it'll be next week. It'll be like next up, the world's oldest comedian. <laughs> then it'll be like yeah. like the stuff that you've like like advertised freaks for. Yeah, <laughs> Not like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This comedian has two mouths. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, are they funny? No, but they look weird. Yeah, it just there's conjoined twins on the in the weekend after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're getting paid double what you are. You saw that conjoined twin got married to a dude? Yeah. Did we no. talk about this on the show? No, no, no. No. no okay. Why did Oscar Pistorius did did they say why he killed his uh his girlfriend? He thought she was a burglar. He thought she was a burglar. N- yeah, no, but like uh in the trial, if they had a the motivation. Tri- yeah. I think it was like he was a really jealous guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I'd be jealous of everybody if I had no legs. Yeah. Are you out with somebody with legs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing walking in here? I was just being raged about all of it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty pissed off. He's so upset. No doubt. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe he should do stand-up, though. It'd be interesting, because, oh, yeah. like... You get the. He'll probably have a podcast for sure. He'll have a podcast on Gas Digital <laughs> 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 for sure. <laughs> It'll be like him and Ralph Sutton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else is going on, article wise? Oh, a Mexican TV outlet. They accidentally air. Also, New York Post. Mexican TV outlet accidentally airs man's testicles during solar eclipse coverage. Uh, a Mexican news outlet, this is RCG Media 24-7. Their news program was covering the eclipse. What it, it's three anchors presented clips submitted by fans experiencing the celestial phenomenon, only to fall prey to a wa- well-known prank in Latin America. Uh, as the mail host was listing the cities from where the eclipse could be enjoyed, the clips being presented on the left side of the screen cut to a man blocking out the sun with his testicles. Mm. One of the two female anchors... Classic could, Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two female anchors could be heard gasping in shock while her male colleague carried on ignoring the obscene image. Click, clip was quickly taken off the screen with the male anchor explaining the clips were submitted by viewers as he admitted that the fervor to include fans' experiences can lead to embarrassing situations for broadcasters. Um, apparently this has happened before. There was a <clears throat> 2019 eclipse in Chile <laughs> where, uh, uh, yeah, the uh, previous images such as that were shared. The quote-unquote tes- testicular eclipse images were shared online during this 2019 eclipse in Chile. Uh, Tommy Lee did this as well on his Instagram. Yeah, I've gotten sent this by an uncle a few years back. Your uncle sent you his testicles? No, there's you know there's clips of people's testicles. Uh, uh-huh. So yeah, I've gotten like things like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Even and, like e- you know Easter mm-hmm. eggs, anything that involves like a ball. I think someone, mainly my uncle, has sent me a thing where you think you're seeing something, and then there's a man's asshole. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's this thing on Instagram where you, like, you think it's like a girl blowing a guy, but then it's like her like. It's like or holding cat's hands or something. It's like an optical illusion. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some where you just think a lady's hot, and then it like a, a shaking ass, and it turns around, it's a dude. And you it's like a like, dude's oh. balls. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm gay now. It tricked me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, you know how it goes. Yeah, Tommy Lee's like he's. I guess he's dating like a podcast host now. She's like a comedian and a podcast host, oh. or whatever. But it's like she's like a lot younger than he is. But like, is it the girl from uh, Call Call Her Daddy? No, it's yeah. another. It's another. Her podcast host is like Brittany Schmidt, who I know. Okay, I think Brittany Furlong maybe is her name. Okay, but it's like kind of funny because like you think about like it's the actual opposite of like you think like oh it's like. 
he's like predatory because he's so much older and she's younger. Mm. But then like you see Tommy Lee talk now and you see her and you're like, yeah, she's predatory. She's pre like <laughs> he's like he he's like half there. You yeah. know what I mean? He's like he's not making any rational decisions. Yeah, yeah, it is true. It does reverse at some point. Like I always think about Groucho Marx. Like towards the end of his life, he was yeah. like abused by the woman who was dating him she like probably killed him sooner than he would have died and she like took him on the road and made him go out there and do theaters and stuff and we actually like some of the late groucho Marx, you know not quite stand up but like vaudeville slash stand up where he would come out and he would sing and he would do some jokes and stuff but like we have those recordings because she was like forcing him out there when he was a sick old man and yeah there was like a biography they talked about like her being like physically abusive to him when he's you know in his I think seventies mid seventies or something. Okay, but it is just interesting, like you were saying, that there is a point where the older guy with the younger woman, the power dynamic reverses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the guy Anna Nicole Smith married, he wasn't abusing her. She, no, she was, she was for abusing sure abusing him. him. Yeah, and then the, I always felt bad for her though. I felt bad too. Well, then the last days of her life, it was like. Well, it was like the president of the Bahamas or something. It was like somebody. Wait, what? what do you somebody mean? random was like in bed with her that she had like, I don't know. Oh, really? The president yeah. of the Bahamas? Well, I don't know who it was. It was like a mayor or something like that. <laughs> okay. Some random black guy. Oscar but the best story is like, were you fucking the, the mayor the of the Bahamas? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, mayor the manager of a cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> it's like just a guy says he's the mayor of the Bahamas. <laughs> well, didn't it like her son die or something, and then she died soon after? She died soon after that. Who yeah. was like? How did her son die? Milk. He like kind of breathed overdoes. funny for ten minutes or something. <laughs> he like forgot how to breathe. Right? She sat for on ten him. minutes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it was something really sad. Travolta's kid died too. Remember that? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, there was that, that Hollywood that, sacrifice. Mm. Yeah. Well, that, that was yeah, the whole it was thing. In the where shower, they, right? You slipped. There was also um, the whole thing with that of being like, you know, because they wouldn't treat him because he was, you know. Their Scientology and what do they do? Mm. I don't know what they wanted to do. I mean, I, I just heard he was like autistic. I didn't know if there was like a, a thing that they needed to do. What? No, he, <laughs> yeah, he fell in the shower. Oh, and then they just gonna do shit because he, yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. Damn, I'm trying to find the last like falling dude. in the shower. Is like, like, we can't people. bring any doctors in here. <laughs> 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 This all this, oh, how am I going to get the Xenu? <laughs> hey, Xenu's showing up. <laughs> oh, come on, jeez. <laughs> He's supposed to be a real monster. Really? Yeah, Travolta. Oh, okay. Yeah, do we talk about He's this? so talented, though. I know, but remember Kanicki from Greece? Yeah. He was on Celebrity Rehab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he dead. Just, yeah, he's dead, but he straight up says that he like slept at Travolta's house during a rough time in his life, uh -huh. and he woke up to Travolta blowing him. Really? Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like crying about Oh, it. I don't it's know what I'm doing in here. <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will cock in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fell. <laughs> I landed on your penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's talking now, huh? <laughs> Because <laughs> so Travolta was like the, probably the tail end of like being secretly gay in Hollywood. Yeah. Well, there's you still know? a bunch of people that are. Yeah. Like they just can't go. Because if you want to have an international film career and you want your like your movie to do well in the Middle East, you can't say you're fucking. Oh, that's a sure. great point. So yeah, none yeah. of the superheroes are out as gay, are right, they? Right. Like John, no, uh, John Cena. Well, every single one of them. <laughs> well, John, John yeah. Downey Jr. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find who this. It'd be kind of funny, like, if Mike had, like, a fight with Deb and he, like, came and slept on my couch and then I was just blowing him <laughs> in the middle of the night. Like, just, I'd just, like, be friends with him for more than 10 years. And then Mike would just wake gag. up and then pretend he didn't wake up. <laughs> yeah, he's like, his Patreon's doing too good. <laughs> like, I'm going to sleep Gotta over here Gotta keep my more. secrets. <laughs> sleep over here once a week. That's four blowjobs a month. I just start picking fights with Deb. It's like, go to Sean's. <laughs> 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 he starts sleeping on his stomach. Yeah, you, let the, you, let, you let the fridge open. <laughs> Wait, why are sleeping up? on my stomach? On my ass. Ass. <laughs> she died in the Bahamas. I don't know what's oh, okay. She died in the Bahamas. Yeah. yeah it was like some on. guy who like was a like, official there. Hmm. You gotta sleep on your sides so you can get blown and fucked in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can just jump around, yeah. 
Damn, you got me the wrong kind of club soda. She's like, I got, I thought I got the ones you wanted. <laughs> no, you got me, <laughs> you got me lemon lime. <laughs> I wanted lemon and lime, you stupid bitch. I feel like my first, like I'm if going I, to Sean. if I woke up and like somebody was like, some dude was blowing me, like, uh-huh. but I wouldn't like get like, vi- I would, just, my no. first thing would just be like, all right, oh. Seriously? Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like that would be yeah, the first yeah. thing out of my mouth. Like, oh, this, yeah. are you? This guy's oh. blowing me. I would say this guy's blowing me to no one. Yeah. And then I'd be like, all right, man, stop blowing me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I'd, maybe I'd let him keep going. Or maybe it'd be, hard, it'd be hard to be like, stop blowing me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were asleep and you wake up and you're hard, and mm-hmm. the dude is sucking you off, that's not it's gay. Only, it's right. Because you right. you it dream straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. It depends what the dream was. Yeah. yeah it depends on what the dream was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had this awesome dream that I was getting blown by. I don't even I don't even know who like the hot celebrities are anymore. To say, Sydney like, Sweeney, getting, Dua Lipa. Yeah. Oh, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, I was getting blown by Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney's got like yeah, massive cans. Yeah, she sure does. She Great. Sure does, yeah. yeah, my wife's got some pretty big tits too. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, boys. Yeah, I this guy's I not gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did see them this week. <laughs> do you still uh, do you still get hard for your wife? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Do you? You still get hard for my wife? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys uh porn wise, do you look up women do you prefer women who look or kind of look like your wives? I don't really get a chance to watch any porn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm, you know, both, yes, it, both, both. <laughs> yeah. Women who look like my wife and the women who don't look like my wife. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be, you'll be jacking off to somebody and you go, what am I doing? <laughs> Someone who doesn't look like your wife. You go, what am I, yeah. what am I doing? Here? Jacking off to the memory of John Travolta blowing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go, this isn't cool. Did you guys react to the eclipse at all? Did you give a shit? Did I you didn't leave glasses? my apartment because I was afraid I was going to go blind. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, well, because well, well, they... I'm fat and I don't want to do anything. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That sure. too. Well, everybody was like, it's going to get dark at 325, but it didn't really get, it didn't get it dark. dark. I thought it was yeah. going to get like black as night. In certain bit. places it did, but in New it York did. it was like, or not, yeah. In yeah. New York it, it just got a little bit. Yeah, it's going dimmer. gray. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a bit of a vibe, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, I did manage to get the glasses. So if you had the glasses, you could see the moon like passing over the sun, which is pretty cool. That was pretty cool because, and somebody like on the street gave me their glasses and said, "Go ahead and take a look at it, and you can see the." And I so so I saw like an orange dot and a black mm-hmm. dot, and I go, "So so what's the orange dot? That's the sun, right? And the black yeah. dot's the moon." They go, "Yeah." I just don't have a brain for science. What is it, Trump? He like looked into the he looked room. into it. Yeah, 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 yeah and nothing. He was happened. like, fu- he was like, fuck it. Yeah. He's like, fuck this eclipse. And nothing happened. That's actually a cool thing about him. Everyone's like, he's, he's an in- idiot. I'm like, that's pretty cool. He's invincible. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing really can let take everybody him down. know that day. Nothing. I mean, that's what's so cool about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's got all of us. Yeah. <laughs> he was going. Nothing can defeat him. Yeah. Not the sun. He's not the southern like district of New York. Trip. Yeah. He yeah. always has a, a yeah. bone to pick and a point to prove. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then didn't he go to Chick Fil A today? And he was like, "I'd like thirty milkshakes." Yeah, for the staff, I think he just bought oh, this. Really? He just made the staff make. Do you have the co- just cookies and cream them. milkshake from Chick Fil A? No, it's very good. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Is it? You know, actually, we talk about things going woke, but Chick Fil A is fighting wokeness by re-adding antibiotics to their chicken. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. we're taking okay. things back. <laughs> okay, that's nice. They actually they had an announcement because Chick Fil A's whole thing was like no antibiotics in our chicken, which is a good thing. But yeah. then they go, "Yeah, actually, there's." No way to source enough chicken in the U.S. without using antibiotics because yeah, all yeah. of the fucking chicken here has, like, chlorinated antibiotics. So they're like, yeah, sorry, we're putting antibiotics back in but the But I thought antibiotics are good. Well, they uh, a lot of antibiotic-resistant diseases in humans, they say, are spreading because they give livestock so much antibiotics okay. that, you know— it gets into our food supply and we consume it. And then suddenly when you need, you know, antibiotics to fight, you know, MRSA or whatever. Yeah. It, it doesn't work because your uh, yeah. various pathogens have built up an immunity. Let me test I just don't have like a brain for science. Like I, I went on YouTube and I just, I literally <clears throat> typed in like, what is the eclipse for children? Just so I could have it explained <laughs> to me. 
<laughs> like, are you and your kid like warning about stuff at the Pretty same much, time? Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, and then they were like, okay, so it's like, yeah, okay, the eclipse is when like the sun, the the moon passes over the sun. Okay, I got yeah. that. Then they were like, and scientists who study the Earth's atmosphere are interested in stuff like this because it's it's indicative of blah blah blah. And I'm like, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck atmosphere. What's atmosphere? The air, how the air <laughs> I feels. I mean, it, there is a point when you're a kid and you're like parents stop being able to help you with like science and math homework sure okay. you know because yeah. they're like i don't fucking know well science yeah. becomes math eventually yeah yeah that's when i was completely out i think yeah. i'd rather just believe in god than yeah. learn all this shit sure you yeah, but you get to pr- think god did those things you know? yeah and you go why would he do those but things? when when you hear people go like oh the earth is billions of years old mm-hmm. so that means that if there is a god he created the earth and then he just like hung out for billions of years and then like he he made dinosaurs but then we didn't get to like martin scorsese movies for like four billion years <laughs> how did it go it got so italian like it was like a <laughs> 180 just, italian I'm just, I'm just saying like what are the best things now about about like modern life like the iphone mm. and some movies i guess well some people think coolest, that uh it's the sopranos that like the speed up in um like technology is directly related to extraterrestrial Mm. Discoveries that they can't, the government that they can't like, okay, yeah, reveal like because of the government. Years, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so maybe God was making other planets in, around that time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, there's also but just like, no way we know exactly what history was like even a thousand years ago. So how many like crazy things happened where there was just giant resets? You would think that would be documented though. Yeah, right. but you would think, but why Maybe do not. we know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, and then there was, like, that one Chinese emperor who, like, his whole thing was, like, no history. My whole thing is no more history. Uh-huh. And he just got rid of, like, everything starts now. Oh, okay. That's yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, I just wonder how often there's been resets in history where mm-hmm. they're like, we're not really going to talk about these other times. Yeah. And you go, oh It'd be so easy to brainwash us. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of get why the Chinese emperors had scholars buried alive. <laughs> They're very <laughs> smug people. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tired yeah. of listening to yeah, academics yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> well, because ev- everything that we do is so important, you know, like stand-up comedy and yes. podcast. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> fucking important. Speak on you it. Know? You know? Speak. Speak. But, Queen with a K. <laughs> but, but then it's like, but there were just billions of years of just rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And not even and not even rocks because there was the ocean before that. So what? Yeah, there's it like an make, ocean it doesn't make any it doesn't make like any learning sense. Learning all new cool things. Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't make any sense that there was like all this stuff and human history is like that much of the history of yeah. the world. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on it. I like that. And even just civil, I think civilization yeah. itself is such a small part of human history. Right. Like written civilization goes back. To 3,000 BC, it's uh-huh. 5,000 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, you know, and then humans have been around 200 or 300,000. So, 95, 99% of that is hunter gatherers. Yeah, that civilization, though, probably wasn't really worth recording, though. <laughs> it was probably some really bleak car. Oh, what big if, guy killed smaller guy <laughs> and fucked his like, wife. They knew how to wipe their asses better, though, right? Like those things that you really they probably did, to they do probably just shat like die. dogs where they didn't have to. Yeah, it's probably perfect. Like yeah. their asses just kind of calloused over. Yeah, but it wasn't gross. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Because I'm like watching like uh, Manhunt, the new the show about um <laughs> the kids playing near your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> just like this is yeah. slow way for me to real. I'm a pedophile, but like it's a. Uh, it's you know it's about Lincoln's assassination and then like the manhunt for John Wilkes Booth or whatever. But I just kept thinking like how fucking much everyone must have just stunk. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, smelled like shit. But I guess that. it you didn't like. I guess you were just used to it, so you became immune to it. Like it didn't matter. Yeah, I think they rubbed certain things on themselves. Yeah. Certain like minerals and shit. Like there could like in the eighteen hundreds there couldn't have been oral sex. It would have no. Been I think pubes horrible. were far too yeah disgusting sinister yeah yeah. No, that was invented um, the year that my mom went to college. <laughs> <laughs> it was invented in 1974. That's, That's the right. first blowjob. It was Racine's mom. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think, I mean, definitely, because there's, like, recorded blowjobs in, like, those old... Uh, oh, yeah. right, like, Greek. Even, like, like silent film, like, blowjobs yeah. you've seen, mm. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if porn and the consumption of porn have 
made it way more widespread. Like no, the percentage not. of actual giving head. <laughs> yeah. Now, like if you don't give head, you're you're crazy. It's like a part of sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're a piece of shit. Like, you're like that an was actual thing bad like, person. Women you are like, uh, if you don't fucking eat my pussy, you're a fucking piece yeah. of shit. You're like not a gu- a guy who cares about women. Yeah. If you don't eat pussy, you're not a feminist. Yeah. Person. And so, but even 20 years ago, that was it was the opposite. Mm-hmm. So I I wonder how much porn has sped up these things. Hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, the first blowjob was in 1864, right after Arizona banned abortion. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you got to figure something else out, gents. <laughs> no, it was in 1865 after John Wilkes Booth killed Lincoln. <laughs> he got his dick sucked by some racist Southern bitch. <laughs> 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 they were just so turned on, they started sucking his dick. That was awesome, John. <laughs> he <got> his, <laughs> he that- just traveled through the South getting his dick sucked <laughs> by a bunch of racists. <laughs> oh, man. That uh, that show, that's the one that kind of reveals that John Wilkes Booth was a celebrity, right? Yeah, well, th- that yeah was, he was. Well, he was, was a celebrity. celebrity. His, yeah. his his brother was like Edwin Booth, who was like a huge actor. Hmm. But um, also the the like only thing it's like, God, you can get actors to do any all kinds of horrible oh, shit. Yeah. they're the, so fucking yeah. stupid. As long as they get to be in the theater. The yeah. only thing about the like show. Is like their acting's great, but except for like Pat Oswalt, who like plays like uh-huh. he plays like a Union soldier, and he just like acts like Pat Oswalt. So yeah. it's almost like he won like a history contest or something, and he gets to be in Manhunt, you know. Yeah. But I guess that that's the one of the better. Have you finished the show? I'm only like three episodes in. Okay, yeah. so they haven't found him yet. No, it's a happy. <laughs> he gets away. Did I tell you the that end I of was... like Shawshank, but with John <laughs> John Wilkes Booth? I'm sure I've told you this, but when I was a kid, I almost became a Civil War reenactor. When I was like 15, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, yeah, I found like this forum on AOL like forum. What side did you uh, pick? I forget. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's a spoken like a true Confederate. I <laughs> yeah, forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would get better acting out of the Confederate. You know, you'd win the Oscar being the Confederate. Yeah, because uh-huh. you get to yeah. like, yeah, you your whole get to be like the Joker. Yeah, yeah. You can either, if you want to win the a- Oscar, you either have to be uh, a black dude like Denzel and Glory, or a Confederate. Those are the two. <laughs> you can't just be a Union guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mike, we heard your act. We thought you'd make a great Confederate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know, I just believe in states' rights. <laughs> it's not about slavery. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just realized I have blue dye on my fingers because I I try to dye a T-shirt blue today with food coloring. Oh yeah, vinegar. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It's in the freezer right now. I saw a thing on the internet. I was hanging out with my kid, and he just he took a magic marker and just started coloring my my face, my hands, and then his own face. Oh, yeah. So we were both yeah. like just covered in green magic marker today. It was kind of fun. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. And I was like, it's magic marker, so it comes off yeah. easily, you know. But it did not. Come no, off I very thought magic easily. marker meant. Oh no, magic means permanent. Magic marker means is the, permanent. Yeah. Yeah. It's permanent. What's magic? Is it it washes off? Disappear. Right? It's like whiteboard yeah. marker, right? Yeah. 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 Does your kid so. like draw on the walls and shit? Not uh, a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. But he's good. He can draw like a closed circle. He's been drawing ghosts. <laughs> he's a crazy oh. person. One time, uh, when I so I lived with Dan like a long time ago, and I was moving into his apartment, and I had this like. Uh, well, that was insane. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that, was like, <laughs> that was. I had this like collection of drawings that I was just. I don't know. I. I decided like if you I had like to get into if it. you who would have told me like the person who did the comedy special that I just saw, and that person is the same person even within like twenty years of each other. <laughs> like it was. He used to. There were like pictures of like crocodiles, and the crocodiles would say like, "I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna die." <laughs> that he had he had that? drawn faces of know. everyone in the New York comedy open mic scene and just wrote their names. Be like, this is Annie, this is Scott, this is Dan, this is Jay Welch. Yeah, dude, he wanted to be the Joker, so <laughs> it was I like, guess, yeah. well, you would look at that and you'd be like, oh, this is severe. Like he can't do stand up. He's been like, you know, hit by a train or something. This is like <laughs> the first time that he's like starting to like. You know, express himself or whatever. I just remember I was really depressed, and I was like, I think I'm going to start drawing. I'm, I'm going to get into drawing. So I got, like, a sketch pad, and I, I, yeah. Yeah. I just drew, like, 
I, I drew like a clown, a ghost. <laughs> yeah, a that's the teenage angsty. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. like a Kurt Cobain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I was moving in. I was moving into the apartment with Dan and Annie, and they they found the drawing pad. It was so oh, funny. They made fun of you. They went in your shit. Is what they really went my shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we. Re- yeah, we did go through because we were helping you move. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's messed up. It was like one of those things he couldn't get angry at us because we were also like helping him. Yeah, yeah. That's Annie being very angelic. Of pickles is what happened there. Sure. Yeah. 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 You do. You do a pretty good Annie. Did I? Yeah. An impression? Yeah. I don't remember. Mike just stands on the table and opens his ass. Oh my god! So here's why I left the other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're like an unsafe person. <laughs> oh, she does kind of talk like that. That's funny. Hmm. I'm stealing Mike's impression, though. Mm. Like, Mike used to do a really good Annie. I forget what I would say. It's, like, been so long. Yeah, Annie well, she's funny. Yeah. Yeah, you guys used to be roommates. You guys used to live in the uh, railroad, right? What is Yeah. It? I re- that was I I relapsed and I woke up and uh, Mike was standing over me with like a black puppet. Shut <laughs> up! Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know. He goes, he, I don't know. I just he's like, hey man, it really what's took, up? Well, why are you relapsing? We gotta get you to rehab. It took yeah. me a while. Mike went to school in the That's suburbs, true. so he's like, how do I talk to someone on drugs? <laughs> I'll buy a puppet. <laughs> I'll buy a puppet. <laughs> I guess it took me a while to figure out who I am, you know. And I thought it was yeah. Oh, you were gonna do a black puppet on stage. No, 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 no. Oh. But I just, I had one. No, he had a black puppet. Had a he black never puppet. did it. I put it on stage. This was, <laughs> this was like the art. It was like a way for him to this express himself. Right after Otto died? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, you know, were... they buried George alive with him. Isn't that sad? <laughs> 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 right, right. Tales from the Crypt, Otto and George. I don't know which one is Otto and which one is George, honestly. I think, I think. No, the guys. I don't know. The yeah. guy's auto, yeah. Uh, guy's auto, yeah, okay. which is really you would have thought the puppet's named auto. Maybe that's part auto. of the bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, I woke up from my relapse, and Mike was holding a black puppet and saying, "You're not going to tell anyone that Mike blew you." Are you? <laughs> <laughs> it was the puppet. <laughs> Can you tell anybody about this? I'll kill you, ass. <laughs> kill you, honky man. <laughs> You're gonna get got. <laughs> and then Mike's do what he says, man. He's serious. I'm, I'm just as scared as you are. <laughs> He's making me do it now, Sean. Yo, you know where I'm from. Where I'm from, we clap, we clap, we clap snitches like you. Clap booty cheeks. Where I'm from. <laughs> no, like you, you, he does the snitch stuff, but only after guys he blows. <laughs> He's like in these streets, we don't talk about who we blow. <laughs> Mike, you're Moving your lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, guys, any um, any final thoughts? No, no. Yeah, no, it was fun. Yeah, watch Dan's special. Yeah, please Link do it. So we, thank you. Yeah, and we will start. Dan. We will start preparing the show more. We will start promoting our live shows. You know, all that yeah. stuff yes. because we don't want to. And because it was fun, the live show was so. Fun. And we're getting a little. We're getting a little comfortable. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. getting a little uh, complacent. You know. Complacent. Yeah. What up, baby? No, this is um, good. We had articles. Yeah. We're going to have. Oh, no, that was good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys like picked up a half hour. <laughs> you know, got funny. <laughs> Eventually. I agree. <laughs> All right. So please check out uh, Dan's special on YouTube. Dan's Thank you. Yeah. Dan's. Check out my special on YouTube. I'm normal. It is a great special. Some... I didn't you. mean to be when you said like. You surpass. I don't think like I'm a great comic, right? But uh, you, your special was better. But you're both amazing comics. What do you mean yeah. better? How do you? How do you even make? I just that think it was a tighter. I just thought it was a tighter special. That's a you know craziness. No, I'm serious. I mean, no, but uh, that's like a the thing. Yeah, know? but doesn't it make you miserable to like l- yeah. live that way? Yeah, for sure. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm really sad. <laughs> God, hate is yeah. really angry yeah. and sad and <laughs> and really. Uh, one thing that made me feel good. It's, I remember, it's actually like, nice though when I like the guy. It's nice, but the the, mm-hmm. the thing that sucks is like when you see, especially you know, it's better than yours, but you also know him personally, and you fucking can't stand him, and you're like, God mm-hmm. damn it! Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. One time there was there was somebody that I uh, sort of um, I guess how do I describe this? It was a guy that I didn't really like, 
And and Dan was like, I mean, the thing is, Mike is legitimately funnier than him, and that made me feel very good because I was like, I know that Dan's got it like written down in his in his house. <laughs> he's got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like got he's like done a power clip release. He's got a power. <laughs> That's rank. true. I do. Yeah. In yeah. my head, I, I'm like, oh, well, the guy's better. Yeah, Mike is legitimately funnier. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you for your honesty. You know. And uh, and you know maybe you'll win the you'll win the next round you'll win in twenty twenty six who's gonna win the ECNY this year <laughs> yeah oh Jesus Christ sorry <laughs> I had fucking McDonald's before I got here I feel like shit boy yeah which that's Allah punishing you for not boycotting them <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah Patreon dot com slash out for smokes I got some new dates uh, coming up we got uh, Europe next month and we got. Uh, Tacoma, we got Fort Worth, Texas, we got, uh, uh, what am I forgetting, Johnny? Charlotte, North Carolina, so, uh, microscenecomedy.com, yes, Yonkers, Yonkers uh, April 25th, so, yeah, microscenecomedy.com, you can get your tickets, and we'll see you guys next week, all right? Bye-bye. Or on the Patreon. Or on the Patreon.